Edge of Cool. Um, where do you stand? Do you want to see it? Because I have convinced myself I don't think I can see it because the idea of having to put up with the already annoying Marquette fans who have nothing else going on in their life except to root for their team that hasn't gone to the Final Four but since Benny, 2003, I but couldn't Benny, do it. I understand it would, be, it would be really tough to listen to Brian D., who I know you've had on the show many times uh, all week because he, he might be the most annoying Mar- Marquette fan. Wisconsin doesn't lose to Marquette. He doesn't Benny. bother me because but, but, he, he's as irrelevant as uh, as the team is in the tournament. Yeah, that's, oh, wow. that's fair. Yeah, first off, Marquette <laughs> needs to win what three tournament games to get to the Elite Eight. We know that's not going to happen. Um, but secondly, oh, Wisconsin doesn't Marquette hater there. Wisconsin doesn't lose to they Marquette. Won one tournament game in ten yeah, how's years. How is that a hater? That's a fact, Kyle. They don't They're win the same games in March. They were last year. Wait, wait a minute. What we not going to do? We not going to do? Listen, I am a bandwagon Marquette fan, a former employee of Marquette as well. Y'all not going? <laughs> y'all not going to trash my former. Keyword former. Keyword former. Former. I, I, I left for I left for a greater opportunity, but I still love my people there. What we not gonna do? We not gonna talk about act like Jarrell McNeil, Wesley Matthews. Oh my God! That was twenty years ago. No, who cares about no, that? No, because that was I was in college when that was happening. So y'all talking about oh, it was so congrats long. on all it's, those guys having great pro it's, careers. That's it's, all Marquette cares about. This is tournament time. I don't care about players. So what Let's I'm go, saying, Benny. those guys made it to the Sweet Sixteen. They made it sweet to the Sweet Sixteen. 16 as congratulations, well. back yeah, to back Final that, Fours. You haven't Kyle. done it since 2003. You sound like all the rest of them that celebrate nothing. No, what I'm saying is we're trying as a team and player success in the future. I feel like Marquette's had 2003 and 1971. No. That's it. Uh, y'all, again, y'all disrespect. <laughs> you're, not help, you're not helping yourself at all, Kyle. Mar- Mar- <laughs> Do you remember Jarrell McNeil? No. I mean, all right, listen. What a name drop. Did, hey, did, did you guys know Dwayne my, Wade played a Marquette? <laughs> 2003. I didn't know I was going to find myself defending Marquette. Marquette had some dark ages because they had Wojo in. And he wasn't a great coach. Shaka Smart comes in, and the program's starting to turn around. They won a tournament game last year. They're a two seed again this year. They're, listen, it, ta- it takes time. It takes time to build a winner. He had to change. How good was Shaka in the tournament post VCU? Oh, stop it. Mm. Stop it. Not great. I, you know what? Now I, I can't. I hope Marquette <laughs> makes it to the Sweet I hope this happens. Like, I really hope this happens because I want y'all to shut up and understand that. I, what I see is this. Honestly, I think Marquette's position in a better position for the next five years than Wisconsin is. That's a bad producer right there. It's position for the next five <laughs> years as well. I think that Marquette, based off their coaching, based off the recruiting, based off the talent that they've been able to get, is that Marquette is trending in a better direction in the Badgers because you know what they have? They've had consistency. Whereas as we look at the Wisconsin Badgers, we've been two up and down. So I'll say this. Marquette is actually in the a better position. The Badgers position. won the Big Ten regular season title two years and, ago. And then what happened the year after that? Wait, and then what happened this year when they were doing so well? They Marquette, literally made Marquette's it to been the... good for like Marquette, two years. No, Mar- no who? Mar- Marquette. Because they the just got Shaka. Like this is Shaka's years. third year, and I'm saying they got a coach in, and all of a sudden, after sucking for about four seasons with Coach Wojo, what happened? Marquette got Shaka. Hey, uh, and Stro, can you better. get the Golden Eagle fight song out for Kyle? Because no, uh, we're not going to disrespect my boy Shaka. Yeah, see there it is. Shaka, my boy. you like Shaka? We, Shaka's cool, Kyle. Shaka's who, a great who are you rooting for if this I'm, happens? I'm rooting for Wisconsin. Like, no, no, no. Like Marquette. He, he did the entire segment, Brad, don't acting as if this. he graduated I mean, from Marquette. You, don't, I, I, he's I just a listener. Don't turn on him. You, you try to turn I'm me into a fraud again. I'm not an apologist. Like you are for Marquette. I'm not an apologist for Marquette, but I just want us to understand the facts that it takes time to build up. It takes time to build up a winner, and Shaka Smart is doing a very good job getting this program from not being at. Listen, they get a pro. The they won. Is so good. They won the Big East title last year. In ben the Prest here alongside Brad Norman, Shaka Smart apologist Kyle Wallace. Take over. The team was bad a couple years ago, and now they're they're Big East champions last year. Won the tourney last year. And then they went to the finals this year for the Big East tourney. We have to give credit where credit is due. And Shaka Smart is making nobody it cares what you do unless you win in the tournament. That no, is a we fact didn't make of college it. basketball. I was cheering for the dang NIT last year for the Badgers. You know how upsetting that is? It should be upsetting. I, I, look, listen, at the end of the day, Shaka Smart is doing better than Greg Gard. How? <laughs> what has he done in the tournament? In three, in three, in, How? In, three, in the last three seasons, which team has been better in the last three seasons? It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? That's the most. If, that's the if, recency that you have. Shaka's only been here for, this is fourth year, and the team is doing for third, third year. Third year, and the so, team is doing phenomenal. Oh, settle down. I'm sorry. It's okay. 
Kyle, but you're the championships guy, right? You want Packers only yeah. Super Bowls? So, Neither so, team has won a championship. So if we're talking about championships, championships Wisconsin ain't on. won a championship since the 40s. I got a crazy Marquette uh, alum guy with a. This is this is he. Holy cow! This this office has done something to him. No, yeah, I, I told you. I, we not going to disrespect Marquette. You not going to disrespect Shaka. We not going to disrespect Marquette. I love working there. We are not going to disrespect them as if they ain't turn it in well, around. All I'm doing the rest of the week is disrespecting the heck out of them, <laughs> uh, and I can't wait to do it just to see you go crazy. And a Wisconsin guy, don't do that to Shaka. Uh, dude, I like Shaka, but I call a spade a spade. He sucked in the tournament at Texas, and they blew it against Michigan State. And guess what? They can do it again against Florida in the second round here again. Strofe, are you remembered for what you do in the regular season, the conference tournament, or what you do in the NCAA tournament? Fair uh, or unfair? Uh, I, I think it's completely fair, and, and to be real no, honest I'm saying fair or unfair, it's the truth. Like, the truth is what? Oh, the truth is you remember for what you do in the tournament, of course. And ultimately, okay, that's, so what, that's how he got jobs, right? Like, he was great at VCU. He got the job at Texas. And you're right, Kyle. He's done a really nice job at Marquette. And I think we can all agree we like Shaka. But he hasn't done it in the tournament since he's been at VCU. And, and for instance, I couldn't tell you what season the Badgers under Bo Ryan won the Big Ten regular season or championship. Powerful. I can tell you the, na- the years they went to the Final Four. Uh, I, can t- I can tell you this right now. Uh, they got to, yes, we got to two Final Fours back to back. Shout out, that's fantastic. I'm not, I'm not taking that away. I'm just saying this. That was how long ago. They also the, so, shut up. That no, was that, no, answer you, the question. They, the Badgers went to six of seven Sweet Sixteens, and yes, they haven't been back to a Sweet Sixteen in a while. But they we make, didn't even make the damn tournament. We, I think we, I think we missed talk the about twice. recency bias. Did we missed the tournament twice in the last five years. They've made, they they made twenty three of the last twenty five. Twenty three of the last twenty five, Kyle. No, the, the the expectation for me is that the Badgers are always going to be in a tournament. So What's your expectation for Marquette? Because it sounds like you like them more than Badgers no, what, based off what they've done. If you guys are you guys are idiots if you don't believe that those if you don't believe that Marquette is more consistent than Wisconsin is right now, the last three seasons, you you are out of your freaking mind. If you're you, out of your you mind. If you want to do this, you could look at what their tournament wins are the last three years. Oh my god. They have the same amount. Same I'm amount. Not sure three to, three years is long enough to be a but, consistent. But same amount of tournament thing. wins. The last three years, despite the Badgers missing, you know why this will be. You know why this will be a good sample size is because in three years, coaches get fired in three years. It's the fact that this is his third year. The fact that this team has. Went to the NCAA tournament. Uh, don't don't wait. go look at your notes. I don't care what After, they've done. Uh, wait, Mark. I know was, what they've done. He they turned, haven't done crap he, in the tournament. That's he, all people care about. And watching you dog, like, give him love some Shaka. Time. I mean, give him some you treat time. him like he's Jordan Love. No, I'm treating Holy him as if cow. Give, give him some time. Give this. Give this. Team you some are. Time. You are Mr. Wisconsin because you will do anything. If the Wisconsin, to, if you're, you're like, oh, if Shaka's listening, I got to make sure he likes me. I'm Kyle Wallace. No, I just it. love Wisconsin. He's from Wisconsin, don't say anything bad about Marquette. If Wisconsin was to Cheers be able to, to win. and pour one oh. out next. I'm pouring one out to and our co host who <laughs> sucks. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN. He was the, the lead in the, what was that, the girls' softball movie? The B- Bernstein Bears. What's it called? <laughs> 800 what? Nine, Tom nine, Hanks, zero, that movie, there's no crime in baseball. What yeah, that was a league of their own. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Not bad news bears. <laughs> the Berenstein Bears. Like the the Berenstein Bears. Bro, you're done. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Make it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit PaysBig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. It's time for the Milwaukee Basketball Report on 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Bud Light. Lillard's going to tee up a three, and he splashes it through for the left wing. The choice to enjoy is easy. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. It was the Bobby Porter Show on Sunday at Pfizer Forum as the crowd was chanting Bobby, Bobby, Bobby with every shot. Lillard the other way feeds it off. Portis fires up another three, and he tickles the twine yet one more time. He is a flamethrower today. 
Bobby Portis, 22 points in this half. He'd finish with 31 in the game, a 140 to 129 Bucks win over the Suns. Chris Middleton also returning to the lineup for the first time since February 6th. He puts up 22 points on 8 of 15 shooting in the win as well. Next up, Bucks are in Boston for a big matchup against the Celtics. That one tips off Wednesday at 6:30. This has been your Milwaukee basketball report on Madison's home for Bucks basketball. 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Bud Light. What does it take to make a diamond? Extreme heat and pressure in about a billion years. But you can't wait that long. What do you do? You go to Goodman's Jewelers. I'm John Hayes from Goodman's Jewelers. There's a reason we are the Diamond Store of Madison. Since 1933, we've provided outstanding service and selection to our customers. And that, in turn, has helped to establish countless great memories through the years. Goodman'sJewelers.com. Located at 220 State Street. Truly a destination worth reaching. Time to start thinking about a summer job? Jesse Nelson here, and Madison School and Community Recreation is now hiring for many positions, including day camp and youth program leaders, outdoor adventure staff, support staff for individuals with disabilities, sports instructors and officials, and more. Full and part-time positions with daytime and evening hours are available. No matter your interest, schedule, or location, there's a position for everyone. At MSCR, you can make an immediate impact in the community and gain meaningful experience. Start your summer adventure today. Apply at MSCR.org. The GRB Rays have established themselves as one of the top baseball programs in the Midwest and the country. GRB Academy offers training programs for players of all ages and skill levels. Learn from some of the best baseball coaches in the area and find the program that fits your training goals and your schedule. Spots are filling up fast, so visit grbacademy.com to sign up now. That's grbacademy.com. GRB Academy, baseball for the serious player. At Gruber Law Offices, we take great pride in helping those who have trusted us after a serious accident. Our team has the knowledge, resources, and experience to get you the results you deserve. Don't wait to get the help you need. Make the right call. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Join the Madison Money Guy, Christian Finfrock, for Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Get the information you need as you plan for retirement. That's Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Investment advisory services offer the Retirement Income Strategies and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Hey, it's Hunter Vaughn. ESPN Madison and Zimbra Honda are celebrating the area's best high school sports stories with the Game Changers of the Month. Follow ESPN Madison on social media to see teams making an impact in their community. Nominate your local team today at ESPNMadisonGameChangers.com. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. So is your chance at proving your hoops knowledge. It's the ESPN Wisconsin Bracket Challenge, presented by Cousin Sub. Fill out a bracket, earn the most points at the end of the tournament, and get one a $1,000, that's right, $1,000 gift card of Cousin's Sub. Fill out your bracket on ESPN.com or the ESPN Tournament Challenge app. Just search ESPN Wisconsin and enter the password Cousins. That's all lowercase, Cousins. It's the ESPN Wisconsin Bracket Challenge, presented by Cousin Subs. They believe even better. Visit ESPNWisconsinContest.com for full rules and details. That's Brad Norman. I'm Ben Brust, alongside Marquette graduate, Marquette lover, Kyle Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Strofe running the show. You're going to hate me today. I mean, I, again, my I'm not going to lie to you. I was a Marquette bandwagon fan, then I worked there, and I'm telling you, I used to have so much disdain for Marquette students. I just like, stop, stop it. Stop loving your school so much. Okay, they're annoying. But then I worked there, and I started drinking a Kool-Aid. I'm telling you, it is something. Oh, it, it is you is know Kool-Aid. what? He there reminds me a lot of a Marquette basketball there fan. There is yeah, something does. Annoying different. and insufferable. Listen, yep. there is something different when you go to that university, and the way they just make you feel like you're just this great person, top oh. 100 
school. I, I, yo, I used to go on the East Coast and recruit. They're like, oh, my gosh, Marquette. I'm like, yeah, what's up? How, how may I help you? Like, there is something about that Marquette <laughs> Kool-Aid that I love it's, to drink. It's such, a, it's such like, you know, Marquette private. It's, you know, it's, it's, private, it's yeah. private school type energy, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Kyle, we Kyle all, got, we ta- all love Kyle each got other. Kyle got a taste of that country club life. I, I sure did. Country I'm telling club. you. Said, boy, oh, boy, I'm telling you. It was, it was different. It was different. Bunch I'm like, of preppy oh, wait a minute. Dorks. Wait, wait a minute, we're uh, we're we're, we're now we're I know a why he dresses party? like this Private on the show. School, now man. you know he dresses he dresses like you. he worked at Marquette. He does trying to he impress really all does. those uh, those preppy private school people. Don't get mad because I'm fine and handsome now. No, I didn't say anything like that at all. Um, nowhere nowhere near what was going to come out of my mouth next. Hey, my what I was going to say, today, what I was going to say is, uh, my girlfriend went to Marquette. She doesn't even know when they play basketball games, <sighs> and that is why uh, we are able to get along because she does not give a crap. She like she and it, she still can't even understand like why people like care about their alma mater like in sports. I'm like, yes, that's that's helpful. I can't imagine you with an avid. I've met some avid, avid. Marquette females. Don't know if I could do that. No, I couldn't do it either. That'd yeah. be too much. It's just it's just overbearing and overwhelming, and yeah. it reminds me a lot of Kyle. No, I recall. Oh, oh wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I can I can relate to that. I, I guess once I was blind, and then I went there and I understood why they felt that way. That's all they have. For the record, and they won a championship in 1970. Some. What if and when these two meet in the elite? You are rooting for who? Well, um, there's a, there's a pause. There, no, here's the thing. You're pausing. Uh, if you ask me right at uh, three o'clock, I would have said go. This Bucky. is this is but the point, the Brad. Now, we have now, the power uh, to sway what he will do because no, he's he's deep no, down the side. He's becoming one of no, them. I ain't come one of them. I just don't like the way y'all came at me. You know what I'm saying? It, it just despite y'all, but no, honestly, come on now. I want Bucky to win. I want the Badgers to win. When I see, I don't believe it. No, I, truthfully, I, no. I I want the Badgers. I when the Marquette Golden Eagles lose, I am not frustrated. When I'm watching Marquette. At basketball, I'm not jumping up and down in the living room saying, let's go. When Chucky Hepburn had that, had that layup to score, to force overtime, I wasn't mm. sitting there dancing like, let's go! Here we go, baby! Let's go! I, I don't say that for Marquette. I am a Badger fan. Don't buy anything he just said, but it's time to, as we do every Monday, cheers to and pour one out. The weekend is over, so let's pop some bottles. It's time for cheers to... And pour one out on Kyle, Brust, and Nortman. It is Cheers 2 and Pour One Out, where we take a gander at what happened in the weekend, and we bring you KBN Nation. You can chime in as well, 844-770-3776, with things we want to celebrate and things we want to pour one out to. Kyle? Well, you know, I'm going to just continue on with this selfish move. I got to sit courtside. I've been hyping myself up. You know, me and Thanasis is cool. So let me just hype up South Dakota State men's basketball team. Y'all know why I want to say that? You know somebody who played for the My team. My little cousin played for South Dakota State, and they made the tournament. So I can't wait to see the little cuz. He, I mean, he's redshirted this year. But I can't wait to see the little cuz. Oh, man, if on he the played, bench. this would be acceptable. Nah, I know. Shout out to Luke. This is a big deal. Little kid, little kid from Milwaukee getting to go to the NCAA tournament. So let me show some love to the uh, – to the. Uh, you don't even know the, the, the logo. The logo, the Jackrabbit. Stop playing with me. I was going to say show love to the MPS graduate, all-conference kid, all-state kid last year, now at South Dakota State. I'm going to show some love to him and go Jack Rabbit, pull off the 215 upset. Who are they playing? Who's their matchup? I, I forgot. I uh, what? <laughs> they're going to lose. <laughs> you never know. All right, well, I'm going to grab my car right State here. I'm going to raise. By the way. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's Who is right. It? Iowa State. I don't Iowa even know State. who will win. Okay. You never know. I'm going to cheers to the start of my second favorite season of the sports calendar. I love football season, number one, easily. There's a little bit of a lull after the Super Bowl, but now we got March Madness, Brewers opening day, the Masters and NBA playoffs. This kicks off a wonderful time to be a sports fan with all those great sporting events upcoming. I'm starting to get re-energized. I'm excited for it. I'm ready to put March Madness directly into these veins, kicking off one of my favorite times of the year of all these different great events. I'm going to say cheers to uh, the NCAA term as well. I got like, like, look, this this is what I live for. Um, I'm going to cheers to the boosted parlay at Potawatomi Casino Hotel. You can get Ben Brust's best bet on their website, on their kiosks. Make sure you go check those out. Um, I love the fact that I'm going to bet every single game of Thursday and Friday. I love the fact that there's games with three screens on the television at home. I'm going selfish like Kyle. There is nothing better 
than that Thursday and Friday. It makes me think of when we were all in school. I don't know if you guys, I mean, oh, you yeah. guys, the, the, the people, Strofe doesn't know this, when they had to roll the TV out. Roll the TV out. The TV cart. I'm not that young. The TV guy. Yeah, you probably had flat screen TVs. We no, on. we did not. Didn't have flat screen. Yeah. Y'all didn't have TV cars, Strove. You were born yes, in like 98. Yes, we did. VHSs. Have... <laughs> what type of poor ass school did you go to? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair <laughs> point. In, in, two, in 2010, y'all got the, the, they still rolling out the little cart? Bro, in 2008, in Green Bay, when we watched the Barack Obama inauguration, it was on like a box TV on a cart. Oh, wow. How old were you in 2008? What grade were you in? I would have been in in fourth fourth grade, I think. Third grade? I I was 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 like nine or ten. Shout out to Green Bay School District. I hope they do a referendum to raise taxes. We can have y'all out there using them, them box TVs. Yeah, right right now, um, they just discover what like Blu-ray is for DVDs. Bro, that there. school district is on their third superintendent this school year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's tough. Uh, it is. That That's is not good. Uh, pour one out next. Pour yeah, it out to yeah. Green Bay's uh, superintendent <laughs> in the uh, school district. Uh, Kyle, go. Yeah, pour one out to St. John's. Pittsburgh, Memphis, Ole Miss, and Oklahoma for not making an NCAA tournament and thinking they're all high and mighty and not actually accepting the bid to play in the NIT. I say pour one out to those teams who thinking that when we expanded to 68 and you think you should have a gripe amount not getting in, come on now. Play better, be better. Take the opportunity to let the kids play. I just say pour one out to those schools and those teams who are not playing in the, NCAA, in the NIT tournament. I'm, I'm going to pour one out to the guy who pushes the buttons for the Atlantic 10 championship. Because when, when Duquesne and VCU played one another, my man pressed the wrong button and streamers fell. Championship streamers fell when there were 18 minutes to go in the second half. And all of a sudden, streamers just started to fall from the top of the roof. So and these guys had to stop play and clean them all up and all that kind of stuff. So when Duquesne and BCU played one another, streamers fell with 18 minutes to go in the second half. My man pushed the wrong button. Poor one out to you. That's a bad look to make national TV for. Ernie in a barn near Elroy. Ask Kyle how many women's and men's hockey teams have won NCAA championships at Marquette. Now, what I will say is I'm going to pour one out to Kyle, and I do have control of his microphone, which is funny. I'll turn you back up. Um, Thank you, sir. You're welcome. My favorite thing about this whole Wisconsin Marquette thing is like when people bring up that Marquette doesn't have football, it makes it even more embarrassing that they have one win in, in 11 years in the NCAA tournament. It makes it even more embarrassing of that drought that they went on. It makes it even more embarrassing that they haven't been to a Final Four since, since 2003. You know why? Because they don't have football, and they put all of the resources to basketball, and they still can't find a way to go far in the tournament. Oh, listen, I used to sound well, like sad. you years ago, and then I worked. Yeah, it no, and, and, and I'm changed. pouring one out to you, Kyle Wallace, who I enjoyed being on the show with until I didn't know he was a preppy, stuck-up, Marquette uh, person who... Accusation? No, I mean, that's literally... Pour one out to Kyle's credibility wait and fandom minute. again. Oh, wait a that's minute. Adam wait in the six hundred eight. I don't. Have, you are ma- you are laying your bet. I just wanted to. I want people to understand that I am a Badger fan when it comes to basketball and football. I know all the ins and outs of the Mad City I Brew. Dang, no love for Kyle Wallace today. I, yeah, yeah, I'm I, with you. I love. The Wisconsin Badgers, but also if Marquette is good, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon of my local team. That's what I'm going to do. That sounds about right, Mr. Bandwagon. No backbone. We'll go where the wind takes him. Wherever the uh, wherever the winning's happening, he has no backbone. His name is Kyle Wallace, and I pour one out to that man because we have to do a show with him Monday through Friday. God bless Craig for those two hours on Sunday Karma. That's it for cheers to and pour one out. Unless we missed anything that Strofe wants to add. I just wanted to cheers to Anthony Black and Grady Dick for the greatest jersey swap of all time last night in the NBA as the Raptors and Magic faced one another. That's all. What a fitting transition. Jason Wilde joins us next. <laughs> You're listening to Kyle Brust and Nortman, KBN. Oh, no, not Coach Booty. People said yes, good riddance. <laughs> he didn't do enough. <laughs> That coach Bud, the coach, coach Booty. booty. <laughs> Does they call him hey, Booty, Bud? Is this Bud? Did they call him coach Booty? Bud. You know when I said Booty, Only his friends call him when Booty. I said on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Ben Brust here for Zimbrick European off the Beltline at Rimrock Road. It's been over four and a half years I've worked with Zimbrick European, and it's time for you to stop on by. 
and check out all the inventory they have to offer. You can also go to ZimbricEuropean.com for certified pre-owns. Mercedes, Audi, Porsche, electric vehicles, they literally have it all for you. It's your one-stop shop. Don't forget about Mercedes-Benz Sprinter vans as well. Zimbrick European off the belt line at Rimrock Road. Check it out. You will enjoy it. Life's better with American Family Insurance because our home policies help protect your dreams and come with peace of mind. Save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at amfam.com. Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Getting up to 5% back is easy at Fleet Farm. Fleet Rewards members can earn up to 5% back on every purchase, in-store and online. The earnings stack up automatically. The more you buy, the more you earn. No rebates, no coupons, no hassles. And Fleet Rewards membership is easy. So sign up now and start earning up to 5% back on everything you need for everyday life at Fleet Farm. Some exclusions apply. If you're looking for a special piece of jewelry for any occasion, Condon Jewelers is always there for you. Condon Jewelers has the best selection of jewelry you'll ever find and guaranteed to have the lowest prices in the Madison area. Free shipping is always available. Visit CondonJeweler.com or call 241-3406 and ask for Jim, the owner, who's at the store every day. Shop locally. Condon Jewelers, the jeweler on the east side, the jeweler on your side. Need more comfort in your life? Craving a craft meal in a warm and welcoming atmosphere? Well, enjoy the comforts of the Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company. From classics like the chicken pot pie or the pub burger to countless handcrafted beers, the Great Dane Pub has everything you need. With four convenient Madison area locations, downtown, Hilldale, Fitchburg, or East Madison, there's a Great Dane to satisfy your comfort cravings near you. Visit GreatDanePub.com for more information. Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company, Madison's original brew pub since 1994. No more waiting to see a general surgeon. Stoughton Health has you covered. We accept over 160 insurances, including Anthem Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Cigna, Dean Health Plan, Humana, and Quartz. Enjoy easy access at Stoughton Health, where most general surgery appointments are available within a week. When it comes to your procedure, trust board-certified general surgeon Dr. Aaron Schwab. At Stoughton Health, we are proud to provide you with exceptional, personalized service. Learn more at StoughtonHealth.com. For official rules and more information about every contest on 100.5 ESPN, visit ESPNWisconsinContest.com. That's ESPNWisconsinContest.com. You're listening to 100.5 ESPN and the ESPN app. From the biggest plays on the court to the comments made in the locker room after, an in-depth recap of every Bucks game in six minutes. No more, no less. Bucks in six provides game recaps for every game. Hear the high-flying dunks from Giannis. Puts it on the floor, spins down the lane, and plunges it through. Or the deep threes from Dane. Dane time has arrived with 107. Bucks in six on the Bucks Plus Audio Network. Find it now on Bucks.com slash plus or on Spotify, Apple, and wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, it's Hunter Vaughn. ESPN Madison and Zimbrick Honda are celebrating the area's best high school sports stories with the Game Changers of the Month. Follow ESPN Madison on social media to see teams making an impact in their community. Nominate your local team today at ESPNMadisonGameChangers.com. This is Kyle Bruston nortman KBN, on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Every Saturday night that you wait, keep my tears blow. Kyle Bruston Norman. I'm Ben Bruss alongside former NFL punter, longtime NFL punter, second place Brad Norman, Wisconsin backer, now turned Marquette oh, supporter, Kyle come Wallace now. here with me. The slander is real here, Jason. And I'm it's Ben real. Bruss, Be as we're joined by Jason Wilde here. Jason, how are you? I'm great. What am I stepping into today with you three? Well, I mean, like, when it comes to Marquette, I like to have fun with the fact that they've won one tournament game in 11 years. And Kyle worked at the university, and I would have thought that he became a graduate of Marquette uh, based off the fact of how he uh, defended them. And I'll just ask you, do you want to see, if you could, the Badgers and Marquette in the Elite Eight? 
Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Because, you know why, Ben? What are you rooting for? It's good for the state. Uh, I'm, I'm rooting for a good game. Um, so here's why. And, and Ben and uh, Brad, I hope you'll understand where Kyle and I are coming from. Because even though I am a Wisconsin alum, even though there are those at Marquette who won't even use red binders, who get a little bit apoplectic about anything red, That's we're better so than that. Petty, and we can want, Jason, you're right. We you're can right. want, we can want our Division One brethren to succeed and uh, have success. I really, I, I like Shaka Smart a ton. Uh, a lot of the stuff that he talks about and he does, I like to try and incorporate into Sid's team. So I, I really, I would love to see them meet in the Elite Eight. I would, then I would prefer to see my guy Greg Gard, who's taken a lot of shrapnel uh, of late, and I'm really glad that they had the performance they did in the Big Ten tournament. Um, I would still want to see Wisconsin advance, of course. Because I am an alum and I get to be a Badger basketball fan because I don't cover them, um, but I, I, I want to see Marquette succeed, and I, w- I wish that more Marquette alumni and fans felt the same way about the Badgers, but it, it just it just seems like they don't, and that's You'll fine. Have to ask that's Kyle because uh, you be. know. <laughs> Uh, I can tell you this, yeah. Uh, he is absolutely right. Marquette fans cannot stand Wisconsin Badgers fans. It's the craziest thing. Yeah, we're better than that, though. We're just, we're better than that. We're, we're better than that to be that petty. Yep, exactly. Right, Brad? Uh, that, that's exactly right. We, uh, we are above board in that scenario. And I, I want to get yeah. your take on the Devondre Campbell tweets from this weekend because. Jason, I, I'm not going to lie. I, you know, I had my retirement speech on Wildey and Tausch before I was doing this full time. So you're a little bit familiar with my career. But, man, I felt with Devondre Campbell because I was asked to do that countless times in the NFL as well. Put team before self. Put team before stats. Maybe if you don't agree with it, you try to do it, and you're a casualty in the end. So wh- where do you see these tweets with Devondre Campbell? as far as impact on the players and kind of who's in the right. Is it him or Joe Barry? Uh, well, wait a minute now. How did this – How? what is the parallel between you and Devondre Campbell? Because Ooh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah, struggling yeah, a little brief. bit with that. Because he uh, – uh, I'll, I'll keep it what brief, What bothered Jason. me so – I, I was in- – <laughs> Okay. Well, I'll keep it really brief. In 2017, my final year at the Jags, um, things were going well. We had an elite defense, average offense, above average special teams. And basically, the whole thing was we can't give up big plays. We can't give up points. We're playing field position. We cannot give up impact plays. So for the punt team, that meant no 60-yard bombs, which would help my stats. It was 40 to 50-yard fair catches and everything very manageable, high hang time, out of bounds. When I got released at the end of the season, they say, look, it's kind of cap hit, and your, your stats struggled and all year they were saying be the team guy we know what you're doing don't worry about stats yeah i I, look i i would say um that devondre campbell didn't seem capable of acknowledging any of his own shortcomings there um you know he basically he basically came out and said that his lack of success before he got to green bay was that he was being misused by Atlanta and Arizona. And then he had a first-team All-Pro season because, as he explained it, he he just did whatever he wanted. And then when he had to do what the coaches wanted him to do in 22 and 23, uh, that's why his production went down and that's why he got cut. The problem with that is that, in my opinion, because I always want players to be open and vocal and honest, and share their thoughts and certainly their frustrations and their critiques is that it would mean a lot more if you at least acknowledge some of your failure was because of you, right? Like you didn't miss tackle solely because of the way you were being deployed. Um, I just thought it was, uh, it's strange that the guys played in the league now eight years and Seven of the eight years, it was him being misused, and the one year that he just did whatever he wanted, uh, he was a first-team All-Pro. I just, I'm sorry, I don't, 
I'll buy that. I think that that's uh, not a whole lot of uh, self scrutiny. Um, and so I, I think what he there's a lot that he says in that lengthy series of tweets that I think has some clear truth to it uh, and is really interesting. I just think he undercuts it by making it seem like it's everyone's fault but his that seven of his eight seasons were not first team all pro level and basically suggests that, uh, you know, had they just let him do whatever he wanted, he would have been a great player. I, I just, I don't, I don't buy that. I do think that there was dysfunction on that side of the ball. Uh, and so mm-hmm. the idea of, of the things that he talks about in there, that all is very believable, not wanting feedback. I mean, okay. look, if we pulled the guys, I'm sure Darnell Savage feels that way. I'm sure Jair Alexander feels that way. Uh, I bet Kenny Clark, while he's still employed by the team, would probably say, I'm just really excited about the new, you know, the new direction we're headed in and would be too nice to say anything negative. So I don't think that there's a problem with the accuracy of a lot of things he said. I just think it's important to acknowledge your own shortcomings along with everyone else's instead of making it sound like it's everybody's fault except yours. Jason, with Jordan Love now kind of ascending in the NFL, do you think this is a new beginning for the Green Bay Packers and signing free agents in the sense of guys wanting to play with Jordan? Just like how they wanted to play with Aaron Rodgers, do you think this is a trend in the right direction for the Green Bay Packers? It certainly doesn't hurt, Kyle, but I mean, you know, I, I actually wrote about that for Sunday State Journal, too, and I do think it's important to point out um, that the Packers made a f- superior financial offer to Xavier McKinney, and I think guaranteed more money than any of the other would be suitors were for Josh Jacobs. And Josh Jacobs also mentioned. Uh, how much he likes Rich Passaccia and how that factored in to him coming to Green Bay as well. So hey, good to see I think him help Jordan Love is definitely. A, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just I, I think Jordan Love is a selling point. I don't think after nine games of success, he's reached the point where you know you're you're going to take less money to go play with Jordan Love because uh, you know he's just he's going to be so great. You know, you might do that with. To, for a chance to play with Patrick Mahomes. Um, but Jordan's got a little ways to go yet before I think you can start seeing guys saying, hey, I got a bigger offer from Team X, but I chose the Packers because they've got this young stud quarterback. Maybe that's next offseason. Maybe that's the offseason after that. But I, I'm not disputing the fact that, that both their two big-ticket free agents, Josh Jacobs and Xavier McKinney, both m- mentioned, and I think honestly, that – you know, them having Jordan Love as an ascending quarterback was certainly a selling point in the pro column of a pros and cons list for coming to the Packers. Uh, Jason Willey joining us here on Kyle, Brust, and Norman. Ben Brust, Kyle Wallace, Brad Norman. Um, I would like to give you my four greatest needs in order for the Green Bay Packers, and I want you to break it down oh, if you oh. agree or disagree. Oh, the Packers. Linebacker. I thought these were going to be yours. Yes. No, I mean, uh, well, there's, 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 he needs more than yeah, four, well, more than four for sure. Uh, linebacker, exactly. defensive line, safety, and O line still. Yeah, I, look, I think defensive line is actually a kind of a sneaky one because uh, TJ Slayton and um, Kenny Clark are both in the final years of their deals. And Kenny Clark, even though he's going into his ninth season, which is crazy. Uh, he's still only twenty. Still years under old. twenty-eight. Can you believe that? Or like, like the, yeah, somebody be, just talked about the ages. I couldn't believe that. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, his first NFL season, he was twenty. Um, so yeah, mm. it's it's pretty remarkable. But you know, again, he's teetering on the brink of Goody doesn't want you anymore at that age. Uh, and even if he says he's okay with twenty-nine-year-old guys or that they're absolutely going to be on the team, then sometimes they're not. So I think that is probably a higher priority um, than maybe we think it is off the top of our heads. Um, but your four, your four needs are the four top ones on the roster. I mean, they, they need to replenish their offensive line depth and give themselves some options there. Remember, it's not just about this year. So uh, Josh Myers is going to be a free agent after this season. What are you going to do with him? Um, I know you're concerned about Royce Newman's future. 
you know, because you like his uh, his mullet so much. Uh, but you know, his future is uncertain too. So they they've got some needs on the offensive line, not only in the short term but longer term. Uh, safety is clearly a need still, even though they got McKinney. I still think they're going to sign another veteran safety on this kind of secondary market where uh, tickets or players are cheap um, and you're not paying premium prices to go see the Taylor see that, Swifts Jackson? of the... Um, I, I don't know who's... I, I, I haven't looked closely at who's left, but I think that you know they, they definitely need to have some more options. Maybe they just bring back Rudy Ford and draft the guy, um, and maybe they feel really good about Anthony Johnson Jr., you know, kind of moving into a role where he could be the starter alongside uh, of McKinney. But, you know, as Goody admitted, guys in the secondary get hurt a lot. And so you better have uh, some options there. I mean, you look at last year, you know, uh, Anthony Johnson Jr. played over 300 snaps. He was one of four safeties that played 300 or more snaps last year. Rudy Ford did, Jonathan Owens did, Darnell Savage did. So they, they need some more help there, but offensive line, defensive line, for sure, safety for sure. Um, and then what was the other one that you said? Linebacker? Uh, linebacker, yep. Yeah, I mean, I think they're going to play Quay at one of the outside spots. Probably it will. They're going to play Isaiah McDuffie inside. Um, but, yeah, they, they, they definitely could use another guy or two there, but I'm not sure it's quite as big of a need. I would also caution that edge rusher is a sneaky need. You know, they've got Rashawn mm-hmm. Gary. Preston Smith is back for one more year, I think. Um, I'm, he's the only 30-year-old on the team. Uh, they're excited about Lucas Van Ness. These guys are going to be hand-in-the-dirt defensive ends now, but they aren't going to have Kingsley and Agbare. He tore his ACL at the end of the year. So you can never have enough pass rushers. I wouldn't be surprised if they go that direction uh, and get Tausch's guy chopped if he falls all the way to 25. Well, uh, Jason, really appreciate the insight. Uh, Great stuff, and uh, we will catch you on Thursday, all right? All right, guys. Take care. Be good. That's Jason Wilde here, Mom Wilde and Tausch. Nine to noon across ESPN Wisconsin. We will wrap up the ESPN Madison portion of Kyle Bruston Nortman next. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman. Milwaukee County, you need to shovel the pathway to the lake. Okay? <laughs> oh, I, had to, such a... I had to step through snow. Is and Kyle I get to the lake? I think Kyle's the Karen of the show. I think he's, Kyle, he's high maintenance for I sure. I think Kyle pays taxes in the county of Milwaukee that just went up. So I expect for this stuff to be piled. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You, ra, ra. Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. Varsity on Wisconsin On Demand is home to all the latest and best Badgers content on ESPN Wisconsin. Subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Wisconsin On Demand, and wherever you get your podcasts. For the 15th time in program history, the Wisconsin women's hockey team is headed to the Frozen Four. With a 4 nothing win over St. Lawrence at Le bon on Saturday, the reigning national champion Badgers have the opportunity to defend their crown this weekend in Durham, New Hampshire. Wisconsin will face off with Colgate in the Frozen Four, with the winner headed to the national championship game on Sunday. Clarkson and conference foe Ohio State will face off in the other semifinal. Puck drop between Colgate and Wisconsin set for 6.30 this Friday on ESPN+. Get no interest for up to three years at Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Don't wait. You have to order by March 31st. Visit PellaWI.com. It's time for the Milwaukee Basketball Report on 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Bud Light. Lillard's going to tee up a three, and he splashes it through for the left wing. The choice to enjoy is easy. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. It was the Bobby Porter Show on Sunday at Pfizer Forum as the crowd was chanting Bobby, Bobby, Bobby with every shot. Lillard the other way feeds it off. Portis fires up another three, and he tickles the twine yet one more time. He is a flamethrower today. Bobby Portis, 22 points in this half. He'd finish with 31 in the game, a 140-129 to Bucks win over the Suns. Chris Middleton also returning to the lineup for the first time since February 6th. He puts up 22 points on 8 of 15 shooting in the win as well. Next up, Bucks are in Boston for a big matchup against the Celtics. That one tips off Wednesday at 6.30. This has been your Milwaukee Basketball Report on Madison's home for Bucks basketball. 100.5 ESPN, brought to you by Bud Light. 
Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health, and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. Whether you're an artist playing accountant, a barista trying to be a bean counter, or a student just looking to get started, the UW Credit Union app lets you be free to be you with free credit scores, free online bill pay, and the ability to send money to friends. Because with fewer fees, you can do more of what you love. UW Credit Union, here for every you. Join today at uwcu.org. Federally insured by NCUA. Hey everyone, Molly Brown here from ESPN Madison. For the best Southwestern food and margaritas in the Madison area, it's always Pasquale's Cantina for me. Whether I'm enjoying my favorite taco salad, their awesome chips and guac, or one of their famous burritos, Pasquale's is the best for authentic Southwestern fare. Plus, they have one of the largest tequila selections around. Visit one of their locations in Verona or Middleton today, or check out their menu and order online at Pasquale'sCantina.com. Bringing the flavors of the Southwest to the Midwest. Pasquale's Cantina. Get your team together. Softball is back for 2024. Jesse Nelson here. Registration for Madison School and Community Recreation's Adult Summer Softball Leagues is now open. Men's, women's, and all-gender slow pitch and women's fast pitch leagues are forming now for the summer season. MSCR Softball Leagues offer fun for every level of player and welcome all participants. Spend your summer evenings with us on the diamond. For more information and to register, go to mscrsportsleagues.org. That's mscrsportsleagues.org. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. And that is Annie Lennox walking on broken glass. We are Kyle Brustin Nortman. I'm Ben Brust alongside Kyle Wallace, Brad Nortman. I mean, Strofe, you, you had to have played this to touch my heart. Oh, of course. You and I have a shared love for this song. I was in the grocery store yesterday, Benny, and uh, this song came on, and I thought of you. Did you start dancing up and down the aisles? Yeah, I was buying chocolate chip muffins, uh, some corned beef and cabbage I made last night. It was great, man. Annie was Annie was fueling my grocery buy. I will say, grocery store bangers. When you hear a song, yes. you like sneaky good place to hear your song. I kind of that's a fact. That's because, a fact. <laughs> because when you go to the grocery store, it's not exactly like a fun time. Mm-hmm. But like, if you can add a little joy to the skipping around and grabbing some. Uh, some of your favorite snacks? Do you start singing out loud? I would love to, yes. I mean, like, humming, like, not like, ah, but like, oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. oh I, I do. I, d- I, I definitely do. have a little pep in my step. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm bopping around. I'm like, I'm going to go get some vegetables now. And some fruit and <laughs> some bread. I love singing in public. <laughs> um, Me too, Kyle. <laughs> that's Alex Strofe running the show, 844-770-3776. Before we were coming on the air, I actually wanted to ask you, Strofe, if you still had the clip from Thanasis on uh, on our show earlier today, do you have it? I'm doing some bad radio right now. Yeah, you are doing bad radio. I do have it, though, Benny. Yes, I'm a great producer, as Kyle uh, Kyle told me earlier. Uh, so, yeah, I've, Thanasis, I've got it for you. Thanasis Anadakumbo joined Kyle Brustin Nortman, and he got me a little pumped up. Here's what Thanasis had to say. One thing I want to say to the fans is, like, guys, like, I want to see the hunger now. Like, I told you this on my podcast. I want to see the, the 50 years with no with no championship hunger back. We're going on a run. Mm. Come back. Like, I need you guys to make Pfizer Forum the most uncomfortable arena for somebody else to come play in. I want them to feel like, oh, my God, this is so unwelcoming come play here you know i want to i want to create that atmosphere and and anybody who's listening to this you know let, let them know we're going on a run and we're doing the, we're going to do our job but we want them we need them you know now we want them we need them mm, mm, we need them i mean you heard kyle mm, powerful powerful for right powerful. for real and uh like brad you talked about it like 
you hear this sound clip and you're like, oh, that's all great. And like, I looked him in the eyes. You looked in the eyes. Kyle looked him in the eyes. Did you not feel the authenticity of what he was saying? Oh, I did. And it, it's such a rare occasion to be able to look, you know, at the you know, Thanasis onto the Kumpo, Giannis on Friday night and feel that connection, the electricity, the engagement. Man, I was ready to go out there and be courtside like Kyle Wallace Screaming, and cheer my face it, off. Yeah. Because, I mean, they are so engaging. They're so fun. And they just connect with the city of Milwaukee in the state of Wisconsin. So to me, hearing Thanasis like that got me excited for Friday night, got me excited for another Bucks championship run too. And speaking of Friday night, you have an opportunity. You heard Thanasis. He's going to be on stage with his brother Giannis. I mean, we talk about like bringing a championship to the state of Wisconsin, the city of Milwaukee for the first time in 50 years. His brother Giannis is going to be on stage with him at Potawatomi Casino Hotel's event center. So go to TALiveshow.com. $43 tickets for uh, Thanasis' name. Family, uh, not name, jersey number. Family friendly. Make sure you go to TALiveshow.com because you can be there at Potawatomi Casino Hotel to enjoy Thanasis and Giannis break down life, basketball, and everything else in between. You don't just get an opportunity for $43 to see the greatest basketball player in the world arguably talk right there with you there. So get to Milwaukee for that. Uh, it has been Kyle Brustin Ortman uh, on 100.5 ESPN. Ben Brustin. Kyle Wallace, Brad Norman, Alex Strofe, Religion Hamilton, up next from 4 to 6 on ESPN Madison. Since J&K Security Solutions opened in 1987, our attention to detail and customer service have been our strongest assets. I'm President Jeffrey Beckman. We'll always do our best to find the most efficient and cost-effective solution to every job we tackle. Whether it's security for your home or business, installing video